Good evening. My name is Father Rayapa. I'm in Ekatupadi, near Vellu, South India. I'm going to talk about Laudato Si, Pope Encyclicals on Ecology and the Environment, and Chapter 2, The Gospel of Creation, and in the subheading called The Common Destination of Goods, that is material goods. So Pope is writing three paragraphs, uh, 93, 94, 95. I already have done two segments on that. This is the third, the last segment, uh, paragraph number 95, in which Pope is saying that the natural environment is the patrimony. It's a heritage of everyone. Okay? Inheritance. In Bible, it's called Nahala. Nahala. So it can't be bought. Only it can be uh, transferred, given in trust and love. So that is what God uh, gave in trust and love this natural environment, but we can use it, but we should never ever abuse it. So, uh, in this paragraph, Pope is quoting the bishops of uh, New Zealand. Uh, they have written a beautiful document in which they are telling, Thou shall not kill the commandment. I mean, it's not only applicable to human um, uh, homicide. It is applicable to everything. Even felling a tree is killing. Even a, killing an insect, it's killing. It's a general, thou shall not kill. It doesn't say thou shall not kill human beings, no. Thou shall not kill, it's general. So it applies to every part of creation. So that's why the bishops of New Zealand are writing uh, that 25% uh, 20, of the world population, that is rich people, they are using 80% of the natural resources. They are taking it all. The common destination of goods, it belongs to the past generation, present generation, and the future generation. But how come today existing present generation, 25% of the world, the elite, the rich people, how come they are taking it all? And poor people are not getting at all anything. So common destination of goods, it's at stake endangered. It's not reaching. It's not serving its purpose from the Creator. Creator intended that every goodness belongs to everybody, but only some people enjoy it. They get everything, as if they are special creatures. They are better species of what? They are better than me and better than the people in the village. No. So Pope is really uh, expressing his concern in this paragraph. So I'm going to read from Laudato Si, from the chapter 2, the Gospel of Creation, under the subheading called uh, Universal Destination of Common Destination of Material Goods. Paragraph number 95. The natural environment is a collective good, the patrimony of all humanity and the responsibility of everyone. If we make something our own, it is only to administer it for the good of all. If we do not, we burden our consciences with the weight of having denied the existence of others. That is why the New Zealand bishops asked what the commandment, thou shall not kill means, when 20% of the world's population consumes resources at a rate that robs the poor nations and future generations of what they need to survive. Very strong words. Article number 95 in Laudato Si. There is no social justice. The private property ownership always comes with the duty. Okay, private property is your right. But at the same time, don't forget the duty. What is the duty? You own because you have a social mortgage. You need to give to others. You are producing for others. You are manufacturing for others. You are owning for others. Otherwise, you don't have any right to own any property, any bank balance, any jewels, any material goods. It's a very strong statement. So New Zealand bishops are also condemning uh, the rich countries for uh, exploiting the natural resources at an alarming rate. So please, Laudato Si, 
article number 95 please read and uh, let us talk and let us educate let us awaken the people those who are in the businesses those who own enormous amount of material wealth let us teach them that this material wealth is a blessing for you but if you don't distribute it is a curse for you so God has given everything to you because through you other people can benefit so that becomes a vocation isn't it business becomes a vocation or oh, if you own a industry you are a, uh, you have a vocation uh, if you are an entrepreneur you that is a vocation if you are a farmer that is a vocation because you work hard not only for your family and also for others and for the greater betterment of this whole of creation please read article number 95 and thank you and god bless